Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to do problem on Bernoulli and continuity. Now, this is important if you're taking FE civil, mechanical, other disciplines, or if you're just taking fluid mechanics class. I also got a very similar question on my FE exam. Now, if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Okay guys, so we have a water that flows steadily through this pipe and the velocity at this point is 22 meters per second. The pressure is 310 kilopascal, which is the same as kilonewtons per, let me write it down, this is the same as kilonewtons per uh, meter squared. The diameter at this point is 0 0.2 meters. Now we were giving the heights from this point to this point is 40 meters and the pressure at this section is 110 kilopascal, and we need to calculate the diameter at this section. So it's very easy, straightforward type of question. All we need to do here is use uh, two equations, Bernoulli and the continuity equation. So let's start writing the Bernoulli equation. So we have P1 over the gamma plus V1 squared over 2G plus Z1 is equal to P2 over gamma plus V2 squared over 2G plus Z2. So let's start plugging the numbers. So P1 was given as 310 kilonewtons per meter squared divided by the, this is the unit weight of water. So we're going to have 9.81 kilonewtons per meters cubed plus v1 uh, is what was v1 22 so we have 22 meters per second this term is squared divided by 2 times 9.81 meters per second squared z1 so if we pick our datum to be here which means this is where we start this is your zero point then Z1 is at the level 40 meters, but Z2 is going to be zero. So let's do plus 40 meters. This equals to 110 kilopascal divided by 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meters plus V2 squared, we don't have that yet, divided by two times 9.81 um, meters per second squared so all you gotta do here is solve for v2 so you plug in this you bring this to the other side then you multiply by 2 times 9.8 and then you take the square root of that whole term so if you solve for v you'll get an answer of 40.85 meters per second so that's your v now because we have a steady flow incompressible fluid then the conservation of mass requires that the density one equals to the density two, which leads us to the continuity equation. So let me write this down. So we have for steady incom incompressible fluid, uh, the conservation of mass. So we have the density one times AV is equal to density two times AV. Now density one has to be equal to density Two, so which means I have A1 is equal to V, A2 times V2, and this is equal to our flow rate, and the flow rate is constant. So we have A1, we have V1, we calculated V2, all we need to do is solve for A2, and then from there we can calculate the diameter. So let's solve for A2. So I have A2 is equal to A1 times V1 divided by V2. Now, a2, so because we have a circular pipe, so we're going to use the area of a circle. So we have pi over 4 times d2 squared is equal to pi over 4 times d1 squared times v1 over v2. Now the pi over 4 cancels with this pi over 4. So now I have d2 is equal to the square root of d1 squared times v1 over v2. This can also be equal to d1 and then the square root of v1 over v2. So now let's plug in the, the numbers. So d1 is equal to 0 0.2 meters 
square root of v1 equals 22 meters per second and um, v2 is 40.85 meters per second. So if you plug in this in your calculator, you'll get an answer of 0 0.15 meters. Very easy, straightforward problem. You could get something like this in your FE exam. Uh, and this is an answer B. Okay, guys, so make sure you do the problems before you check out the solution because the best way to learn something is by doing it. And don't forget, a problem a day keeps the F away. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Oh, yeah.